Today we're going to explore the Shelburne Museum. Yes, I'm standing next to a lighthouse, but I'm actually nowhere near the ocean. Her name was Electra Webb, and she would collect things like old barns, houses, interesting plants, lighthouses, ships, and anything else she thought was interesting. She was launched in 1906, the very same day the San Francisco earthquake happened. Making the rounds from New York to Burlington Harbor, guests could dine in the fine dining room. Featuring a walking beam sidewheeler design. Her decks were used for storage, machinery, equipment, whatever was needed. Trucks, goods, gear of all sorts. And sometimes horses. The anchor was likely never used except in emergencies. This is a demonstration of leverage. They didn't, they didn't exactly have cell phones or even intercoms, but they did have speaking tubes. And you could speak into here and listen into here, and wherever the tube was connected to, they would hear you. And let's follow this tube and see where it goes. It goes down here, and down here, and it just goes right over here, because it's just a demonstration so that we can check it out. <laughs> Susie, you want to try it out? Assistant Susie here will now talk to us through the cool. speaking. Oh, this is the captain of the SS. <laughs> Ticonderoga speaking. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. We'll be underway shortly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yep. So, because of the design of the ship, there was a little problem with the deck, and that is that the drive shaft of the wheel would cross the deck. So how do you let people cross over? And the answer is you just build stairs that go over this housing that would hold the shaft to the wheel, and you just simply walk over and get to the rest of the ship. Of course, any fine ship has a fine kitchen. This massive shaft would drive both wheels at the same time. The wheels could not turn in opposite directions. Wouldn't Edison be proud? Only DC power aboard this vessel. It's a generator. And of course, being a big ship, it would require big tools. here in the engine room. Now of course this uh, is just a vessel of the 1920s and it burned coal. To the right of me, to the left of you most likely, is the boiler which was massive. It used lake water to generate steam. You can see here this is where the coal would be dumped in. There'd be men down here using these shovels here to throw coal repeatedly into here basically all day long. You can even see there's a little bit of coal in there. And then in here, the plate removed, 
you can see that there would be water that would be boiled, and there's scale from the actual water that was boiled in there. And while most of the passengers on the ship were only on for a few hours, the crew stayed on for a lengthy time, so they had their own beds. This is the crew quarters here. And as you can see, they had a few comforts aboard. Exit, but I can't find my way out. important functions on the ship was the rudder. Um, it was essential. If you had no rudder, you couldn't steer. Even though the ship had two paddle wheels, they went in the same direction. So they needed this thing. And there were redundant systems on board. You can see here that there are chains that made the rudder go. But if those failed, they had another system that would make it go. And if that failed, they actually had big sticks that they could put into the mechanism for the rudder. And it took about 20 men to use it to move the rudder. So they, they were going to get where they were going. <laughs>